guys and welcome back to the channel this is going to be my 150 subscribers special we actually passed that by about 30 subs by the time this came out right now i believe we're at 177 if i'm not wrong but i'd like to thank you guys for the support it, i appreciate it so much um this what if is going to be really fun now as most people do what if turles was canon or mainly cooler so I'm going to do someone that isn't really talked about much, and I believe there's only one what if about it, but eh, now that that's done with, let's get into the video. We start when Android 17 just puts his hand through Jiro and then kicks his head off, killing Jiro in the process. Now then, everything will go the same until the machine at Jiro's lab, well this thing would turn on. And it would unleash androids 13, 14, and 15. Now then, these three, well, they would just hide there for about a half an hour. By the time they get to where android 17 is, they would see him fighting Piccolo with Cell nearby. They would then get ready to jump in as Piccolo is ending up defeating android 17 but android 14 would jump at 16 and just slam him into the ground but 16 is going to be obviously stronger than 14 so 15 will need to help him they will be dis they will be defeating android 16 as to combined he cannot beat them but then android a android 17 and 18 would jump at 13 who would be by himself defeating both of them with ease, just kneeing 17 and throwing 18, and then hitting a blast, which would hurt her a lot. Now then, the androids and the Z fighters that are there would realize they need to work together. 13 would then attack Cell, who he would realize is a project Jero was working on, as he would then just fire a huge blast, killing Cell, before he can absorb the androids. Now, like I said, the androids and Piccolo would work together, as they would go to the lookout. Trunks and Vegeta would exit as Goku and Gohan go in. The androids would arrive with Trunks immediately jumping at them, but he would be stopped by Piccolo. Vegeta would want to attack them to show his strength, but Piccolo would explain the whole story about there being three more androids that are not these three. As so, they would all train for the one day, with Trunks and Vegeta using Super Saiyan, as Piccolo would use his full power, and 17, 18, and 16 wouldn't get that much of a boost. In the hyperbolic time chamber, they wouldn't even know the androids came, but everything would go the same, as they would train, and Gohan would show a glimpse of Super Saiyan 2, but that everything would go the same as Goku and Gohan would beat him. 16, as they arrive, would jump at 15 and just punch him and punch him. 14 would then try to help him, as he would be fighting. 16, though, would be able to beat him even more, as he has gotten stronger from that training, as Gohan, Vegeta, Goku, and Trunks would all go for Android 13, who would be really, who would be hurt by this, but he would take them out one at a time, throwing Gohan, and then attacking everyone else. For the twins, 17 and 18 would just be minding their own business, as 13 is trying to kill them before he kills Vegeta Goku. I did forget to mention that earlier, but yes, he is trying to kill the twins first. 14 would be facing 16 and Piccolo, as he would be losing. And before he dies, though, he would fire a blast at 16, who would just block it, but 13 would come in, blast through Piccolo, and then s kill 16, which would mean he just killed 16 and Piccolo. As he would then get ready, he would charge up a blast at everyone, which would injure all the people, and then he would absorb 15 and 14. He would then power up with this. Instead of, like, Cell turning perfect, he would become Super Android 13, as he would rush at Goku and use a huge knee, which would just send Goku through a mountain, pretty much dead. 
but Goku would still be hanging on and weakened as Trunks would jump at Super Android 13, who would just crush his fist and then slam him into the ground as Gohan would rush at him angered, but he would just be swatted away and his back would be broken. Vegeta would be next. He would be angered. This breath thinks he can take my hair. I'm going to kill you. But he would be defeated. Goku, in a last resort, would charge up a spirit bomb using the energy that everyone has left and the energy of the whole universe. As he would charge up a huge spirit bomb and he would then toss it towards Super Android 13, who, using his full power, he would just be holding it off as him and Goku try to hold it and get hit, make it hit the other person. As Super Android 13 would use more strength, bursting through his limits and hit it at Goku, who would absorb it. He, be, he is now Super Saiyan Spirit Bomb Absorbed Goku, as he would just rush at Super Android 13 and hit a huge punch using this power, which is even stronger than... Super Saiyan 2, Goku would then yell as he would then rush again towards Super Android 13 and fire a final Kamehameha, which would then erase Android 13, leaving no sight of him. And that is going to be it for this what if. I hope you guys did enjoy. I really had fun making it and it, I had to do it last second since we left the house and my phone died. There was no charger. So I had to make this at like 6, but I was able to finish it. Um, I'd like to thank you guys so much for the support lately. I don't have much to say except for my new schedule. So my new schedule is going to be Sunday, Wednesday, and Friday. Three uploads a week. So today is the first one. My next video will be on Wednesday and then Friday. My next video will be What If Goku Got Ikari Part 7, which I can't wait for.